Hi, I'm Brainerd Carey, Director of Praxis Center for Artists. And today I wanna to talk about what I think are five important rules for artists. So number one, don't pay for a show. You should never have to pay for a show. Uh, that's something that's taking advantage of artists in almost all cases. The cooperatives might be a little bit different, but I don't suggest you join a cooperative either. But the bottom line is rule number one, don't pay for a show. You're the one that has something to present. You're the one with the gift of making art that has something to share with the world. Do not pay for shows. Uh, a show should be something that is uh, for you to be part of, not to pay to be in a show. So don't pay for shows um, no matter what. Okay, number two is make what you want. Um, don't be guided by the market or what critics say. Make whatever you want. You want to work in multiple mediums, different mediums. You want to change your imagery, anything like that. Do what you want. Let yourself be the guide. Don't think of, again, what the market wants or what you've sold in the past. You're the one that's inventing all of this. That's the creative light behind everything you do. Don't let that be boxed in or narrowed by an idea of what you should be making or the idea that you need to make a solid body of work that's all very similar. Today, artists work in multiple mediums very successfully in multiple types of imagery. So um, don't worry about making anything except what you want to make, you know, and that changes all the time as it should. Um, number three, collaborate. I think it's important to collaborate with another artist. Pick a friend to collaborate with, a uh, musician, a uh, dancer, uh, anybody, a scientist. Collaborate. It's very exciting to collaborate with another artist or scientist or, or person from any field, and it brings you outside of your your own aesthetics and what you're making and the vision that you have. I think collaboration is enormously important creatively and aesthetically, but also it brings in a wider audience as well. Uh, number four, rejection. Uh, rejection in applications are common. So um, don't worry too much about rejection. It's painful, it's hard. I get that, it's painful for everybody. There's no way around that but move on because it's not personal. There's just a lot of competition out there, uh, a lot of different artists doing different kinds of things. So just move on, get over rejection. If you can't get over it, you know, put it aside and move on anyway. And last, number five, apply to nonprofits and alternative spaces to exhibit. That's the place where galleries even find artists. Alternative spaces and nonprofits. You can find them through your ministries of culture in Europe. You can find them through your state council on the arts if you're in the United States. Um, it's it's very important these spaces to an artist's career. Again, alternative spaces and nonprofits. They have applications to get into. You should not be paying anything for these shows. These are shows that, by the fact that they're nonprofit and they're not selling any work, are simply there to exhibit good work. So uh, I would strongly consider applying to nonprofit shows and alternative spaces. And those are my five uh, rules and tips for artists today. I wish you well in your studio practice.